Hey everyone, John here, State Committee person from the Plymouth and Norfolk uh, State Committee District. Uh, and I am here with a uh, pretty exciting candidate. Uh, I've been going around the state um, doing different interviews with different candidates. And we are right now in Norwell, I'm sorry, Norwood. Uh, and I am here with a great candidate that I'm going to allow to introduce himself. So is it Russell or Russ? What do you prefer? Well, I prefer Russ. Okay. It, it just, you know, keep it sweet and simple. Sweet and simple. There yeah. you go. So, uh, Russ, I understand you're running for uh, state uh, for the DNC seat that's been vacated by our now chair. Yes, um, our, and our honorable chair, Gus Bickford. Dr. Gus Bickford. Why don't you introduce yourself to people? Because uh, sure. we only get to spend about three hours a month with each other at the <laughs> state committee meeting. So, quick, uh, give yeah. everyone the 10,000-foot view. What have you been Well, uh, my name is Russ Ashton. Formally, if you want to go that way, it's Russell. Uh, but we're all friends, so let's let's stay with Russ. Um, I, I live in in Whalen uh, with with my wife and uh, uh, in an empty nest, and uh, I get to visit my empty nest people, if you want to call them, quite frequently because they're on the vineyard, and we're fortunate enough to go over there kind of frequently, uh, where I have. Uh, Two sons who live there, and I have a, a grandson who lives everywhere on the vineyard with us all. <laughs> so, so you got two places, Wayland and Vineyard, yeah. in between both. In between both, but it, it, it it's really fun and exciting. Um, it, it's great living, not lush and plush, but it's it's great living, and it, it's nice to have that experience to meet all kind of people. And you've retired, um, right? I, I'm retired, and. Uh, to a certain extent, but I'm very active politically, and I think that's the motivation to keep going. Um, in in Willen, I am on, on the housing authority, and which is an a, a exciting thing, and we're, we're getting in to look at new ventures uh, with the new administration. Um, I, I wish we could keep it as, as simple and sweet and go, go forward to make sure we have affordable housing for everybody. Uh, but this is something that uh, just lately I've been working on, uh, uh, speaking with our, our congresswoman uh, and the staff, and also uh, at the uh, Federal Reserve Bank. Yesterday I was at a, a conference with uh, the New England states and uh, also with, with uh, people from uh, the administration in D.C. of what is going to happen with our affordable housing and where are we going with it? There's a lot to be a lot to be done uh, on all issues. Also, I'm involved with uh, transportation, being on the board of transportation um, on on the vineyard, um, which transportation, especially public transportation and reliable transportation, uh, all over the state of Massachusetts, is one of the most important things um, as we're getting into a difficult economy. Now, Russ, uh, you've been in politics for how long now? Oh, well, uh, ever since I could uh, could walk, really. <laughs> uh, my, my family, my father, growing up as I grew up in Everett, was in, in politics. He ran for a uh, city councilor uh, when it wasn't popular for African Americans to run for anything. Right, right. Um, so, so a trailblazer. Yeah, so it was so it was really exciting living in, in a in a house like that and and knowing that uh, we were we were looking at my father was looking out for us as well as, as also the the general population in, in Everett Mass. Now um, since you've been around for uh, several campaigns, which was your favorite? Oh wow! Which which is the favorite? Um, they all have some uniqueness to it. Um, my favorite, to be very honest with you, was the uh, Obama campaign. Um, one or two? Well, it was actually I, I, one I, campaign, but yeah, it was. But it, it, it was really exciting. It was really nice to to get out there personally as a. Uh, uh, a person of color representing the Democratic Party. Uh, I think that uh, 
the Democratic Party has offered all of us the opportunity, no matter whom you are, in, in order to be part of the, the political force. Uh, and this is one of the most important things that we have to, to keep on fighting for. Uh, th this is one of the important things that we need to, uh, to display in, in Washington as well as every other place. Uh, one of our, uh, my, my wife and myself, one of the things that, that we have done is we have opened up our doors to uh, various different politicians from all over the country in, in order to make sure that uh, they're heard. So you do the uh, kitchen room sofa conversation with a lot of well no not really that we do the big backyard big thing back, and, big backyard and, that's and a better way bring every, clean up. bring bring everyone in and and uh, uh, we 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 do have a great uh, uh, amount of people who come through and it's fun it's it's, it's, it's retail exciting politics because yeah it's retail po politics but politics is people yeah and and uh, the enjoyment of people I think that's it's, it's a family, family thing with us. The best part know. about it. You're going to be taking over Gus Bickford's seat. Uh, he's elected to a four-year term. Yes. He's already served one term, so you're only going to get three years. Now, there's a lot of stuff going on nationally, making people nervous. Yes. Um, if you look at Washington, if you look at the DNC, a lot of people disappointed on what, how they went through the last campaign. What do you think the three most important things is that they should focus on? Well, that's a, that's a difficult thing. Uh, I, the three most important things uh, uh, are, one, we've got to make sure that we keep the system open to everybody. Okay. We've got to make sure access. We've got to make sure that we're transparent and we make sure that we keep the transparency there. Uh, and and that is going to be a, a big fight. Big fight, right? Um, so we're saying you're saying access and transparency. There was a lot of people complaining about what was going on. Correct. That's number one that you want to see. What's number two? Uh, number two, I, I think is is the the training, the the training from the bottom up. I think we need to make sure that everyone is 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 on board. Uh, it's just like just before I came down here, I was speaking to a young man from Malden, Massachusetts, okay, Malden. and uh, uh, he was a Bernie supporter, uh, and he didn't vote in Massachusetts. He voted in Connecticut from where he is, and he's moved up to uh, Massachusetts, and he worked very hard on the, the Hillary campaign. Um, but this is this is where we need to make sure that we hear these people we bring them in and how he came about it was really really something he, this is a young man who was at the uh, uh, last Democratic State Committee meeting okay uh, never boring and and that's for sure and he wanted to come out to see what was happening uh, word got around and uh, uh, now this is the one that we elected Gus at right yes yes and he he got around and, and he spoke to a few people and uh, led to various different names and um, out of all the names I was the one who got, got in touch with him. Okay. And uh, and I think that uh, I let him know that the the Democratic Party is going to be with him and we're not going to let him slip through the cracks. He's 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 going to be part he's of it. He's important to the so yeah. So I think training from the from the bottom up. This is a young man. He's 24 years old. Need to get uh, them involved. We need to get them involved, and when we get hold of these people, don't let them go. Let's right. make sure we move on. So that. you're saying first one is definitely the transparency. Correct. Uh, second one is training and bringing people in. Correct. Um, Correct. What's number three? Well, the 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 third thing is not only we're we're bringing people in, we need to take and search out for people who are on board, and make sure we get them ready to run for office. Uh, and uh, and all the new candidates. grooming new candidates. Make sure we have somebody there uh, in in every phase of it. Uh, just like in in Will and I got a young man to 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 run for the Senate uh, against our Senate uh, uh, seat holder. Right. Uh, and uh, these are things that we all need to do. Not just myself, but I think this is something that uh, we we all need to do. I know we have a lot of people in in the party that are out there actively doing that and and this is this is one of the things i know in in 
Uh, Attleboro, there are people out there actively looking. Um, and this this gets us really in, moving, into yeah. moving in, into the, the, the position that we're, we're, we're going in. So three things. One is uh, access transparency. Mm -hmm. uh, two is training and uh, recruitment, getting people into the party. And the mm -hmm. last one, uh, you want to see a program of actually getting candidates onto the ticket and making Correct. sure they have the, the system. Right. Now, and, and we're there for them. We're the, yeah, the party's there for them. Yeah, three years. Um, personally, what would you like to accomplish? If you could accomplish one thing, what would it like to be? Well, I think personally, I think uh, the most important thing is, is, is transparency, because I think transparency will bring everything else together. Um, uh, we, we've always been an, an open book, but we need to make sure that we're an open book all over and we all need to work to that goal of being true. Yeah, a lot of what we saw in this election um, was that the Democratic Party wasn't communicating properly, and it looked like the, it looked like it was less transparent than it actually was. Um, so I agree 100% with you on that. That the mm -hmm. transparency is a problem for us, uh, which is one of the reasons I'm doing this to make sure that we introduce people to yeah. the candidates. Well, I, I I think that that's that's very important. This is. And this leads into to, to various other things. We, we came off of a, a heated primary, mm. and we, need the, the, we needed to work together. I think there's a lot of uh, 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 fellow Democrats who, who saw this and, and came on board, and they went to us, just like this young man I was talking to this, this afternoon. Um, we need to, we, this is one Democratic Party, not two or three Democratic parties. Well, we got yeah, to make sure we always get into it in the primary, but you yeah. come together in the general. Yeah. But now, we, 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 in the general and everything else yeah, around yeah. us. You've been um, running for the seat uh, it's since November, pretty much, right? Mm -hmm. How's the campaign tra trail been? It's been great. It's really been fantastic. My most important thing is is to speak to people. Right. And to, to let them know who I am, um, what I stand for, and where I would like to go with this, um, and and uh, that's kind of difficult because I, I do have a lot of uh, uh, phone messages going out there and in callbacks and etc. Like that, so it is a lengthy process of getting through this to speak to as many people as possible. Uh, but that that's my goal. So I, I I just don't want to leave a message. I want to talk to them. And, and to see what they want. So it, I've been uh, done four other interviews, and that's everyone's complaint: is it's not one phone call; it's a phone call to the person, then wait for the phone call back, and then a phone call. You're paying, playing catch up. Right, right, um, right. A lot of people, a lot of the people, candidates I've talked to, who are all great, um, yes, are saying are. saying that uh, we're going through a little mourning process. The party is kind of going through the grief of losing the election. Um, what's your experience been with that? Well. That is that that it. It's a rough read to to look out and say, we have a what? We have a Donald. Uh, that's very difficult. Um, I don't think I'll ever get over that. Um, but we need to move it on. We need to make sure that that we get over it, and we need to help each other get over it, and we need to stand up strong now. We need to unite. We need to be informed. We need to keep the message open to everybody and, and not to be afraid to stand up as a Democrat in Massachusetts. Which is why I think this seat that you're running for is one of the important first steps uh, in making sure that we move forward. I, I think one of the most important things that uh, we need to do it in once that whoever is elected, and this is my goal, mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's my goal, and it's, uh, it's, if anyone else wants to join into it, I'm more than happy, and I'd like to have them join into it. And it's part of the transparency part. We do not right now have a format to make sure that everyone in the party knows about what is happening at the DNC. So from the person so, who's a weekend warrior, watches the network television stations, mm -hmm. maybe doesn't go to his town committee, all the way up to the state committee person, you want a system. I want a system, and, and the system that I'm thinking about and proposing is that I personally, 
I, I don't want to get anyone and uh, make a commitment for anyone else. After each national committee meeting, mm -hmm. I will hold four meetings. Four meetings. Four meetings in different parts of the state, working with. So, the like, uh, you you go to your winter session, you come back, mm -hmm. you're going to hold four local sessions. Right, one in eastern, one in western, one in the southern, one in the northern, uh, and it would vary after every meeting. Move around, and and it it needs to be that. I will in, invite all of the other state, the, the national committee people with me Come on down. In, in order to let people know what happened at the meeting and do you have any questions that you would want, to, want me to find out and get back to you. And I, I, we, need to, we need to have a, a, a better way of letting people know what is going on at the national meeting. We do have briefings at the at the uh, state, state committee party, state state party meeting. meeting, but it, it it it's a synopsis that it's like, here it is, there it goes, and no one has any input. Okay. And if you want to read it, it's online. You can grab it. Correct. Um, Correct. Which a lot of times uh, people aren't interested. So you're interested in doing more of a um, interactive. Correct. Um, here's what we did. What do you guys think? And do it around the state for locations. Correct. I think that sounds like a great idea. Correct. I mean, I, I, I would really hope that we can do something like that. Um, well, it, 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 it's, it's worth a try. I don't think that I should hold anyone else to that commitment. No, but the, judging and by the uh, the level of commitment from all of the other four candidates, I, I, I say that they would probably be in for it too. Um, but this is a great idea. Good idea. I think this is uh, important. Well, communication is always important. Yeah. Just, now, just like this. Uh, so there's format. eight members that go. Uh, and you're going to be one of eight, and you're going to try to rustle the other ones in. Well, it's, it's, they, will, it's they, will, they will they will know what, what is, where it's going to be and the time and the date, and I'm going to work with the state committee people, to, yeah. such as yourself. I, I, I know you, <laughs> I'll be would, there. <laughs> I, I know you'd want to help me come up with places to hold the meeting. Definitely, definitely. Uh, and these, these are important. I this think this is, is a great idea. So how do people get in touch with you? Well, my number is out in the open. I prefer them to call my cell phone number opposed to the home number. And I'll put it on the website so they can call Fantastic. you directly. And, and that is email too. And email is right. Now, you're not on Facebook or Twitter. No, I'm not. Okay, yeah. so we'll do a phone number and email. Correct. Uh, people Good. get direct in touch with you. I always love talking to you. Likewise. <laughs> Have a good one. So this is Russell. He is running for uh, a DNC member from Massachusetts. Uh, I do hope you consider voting for him in our, I believe it's the February meeting, right? Which yes, it is February 2nd. It's February at 2nd. At the Teachers Union. At the Teachers Union, another good location yeah. to do things. Thank you, everyone. Uh, this is the last one. Uh, I'll be sending an email blast out to all our state committee people. Um, please share, like, um, like my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash bose3pond, or check out the website, bose3.com. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you.